Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about how to install acoustic foam. Well, let's back up a little bit and talk a little bit about what acoustic foam is because there's so much confusion out there. I, I don't even know where to begin to start. But what is acoustic foam? Well, it's a very economical, lightweight way of absorbing middle and high frequencies. I think that's the easiest way to say it. There's two kinds of foam that we use. We use open cell or closed cell. Open cell is what we use to absorb sound. Just think the word open. It allows energy to go in the cells. Closed cell is more foam that's used for your seats, your cushions on your couch. It's more supportive in nature. Closed cell, meaning you know more, more dense, more firm to support weight. Open cell, more open cells, so to speak, to allow uh, uh, air movement into them and, and thus absorption to occur. So it is lightweight and economical. It's made raw or processed form. You can see here in the graphic, this is our proprietary gray foam that took eight years and about $2 million to develop. It's the smoothest foam for voice and music, music you will ever find. I guarantee it. You can go on our website in the about section and look at our foam curves there. You can see them here in the graphic. They're pretty smooth from 125 to 500 because that's a very, very critical region for the start of middle and high frequencies. You can see two other foams shown here, how they have the big dips in response. Well, that's the last thing you want in an acoustic treatment. I mean, your room is full of peaks and dips anyway, right? Why would you treat the room with big peaks and big dips with a technology that has peaks and dips? You know, you want a technology that's smooth, that can fill in, that can cut the peaks down, can fill in the dips. That's what you're after. So you don't want a technology with the same frequency response as your room, right? You want to correct the issues. Two sides to our foam. You make it mold, so there's a screen at the bottom, gives you a little texture on one side, smooth on the other. Big sheets, almost four by six foot. You can cut them to size. You know, we have all kinds of uh, things there. They'll, they'll stick real easy on the wall with double-sided tape. We use it all the time in our studios. That's the most economical way to go. It's gray in color, so it's very neutral. It works really good in the video. Uh, aspect of everything also because gray is a great color. It's non-reflective and that's great when you're lighting because lighting is very difficult. One of the reasons I went to the blackboard here is because lighting those whiteboards, it's a pain. They're just too reflective. You can't get a good balance uh, distribution of light. So there's the process side of it where we take the foam and we put it in a pretty box. Basically, that's what we do. And then you get your choice from fabric, colors, and textures. I think there's over 50 colors and textures you can pick from. But you got to stay with an air permeability fabric. So you got to make sure that you're choosing a right fabric. We have a DIY approach where we can send you the foam. You can build the panels. We have drawings for all that. Save you a lot in labor costs. Obviously, we build it. I have to charge because I have to pay my people to build it. Here's the key that most people don't understand. You got to have a must, enough surface area coverage with acoustic foam, with any kind of absorption or diffusion technology to solve the problems of the room. So you have to analyze the problems in the room, look at the frequency and amplitude of the problem, and then prescribe enough square footage of the correct rate and level of absorption. So it's like one, two, three, four, five steps or whatever it is. But it's a step-by-step -step process to achieving what your goals are. So just like anything else, you got to quantify and qualify. When you make a decision about something, you weigh out all the issues. Well, in acoustics, you look at the problems of the room and you prescribe the solution. When you go to the doctor and you're not feeling well, first thing he does, does a blood workup. He wants to know what's going on biochemically in your blood. Well, the same thing in a room. We have to look at the room because it has finite dimensions. So its problems are predictable and consistent. We have to locate those problems, locate how big they are, and also locate where they are in the room, and then treat. Acoustic foam is uh, one option for middle and high frequencies. How to install acoustic foam. I hope it helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. 
We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.